Hi, I'm Ashley, and welcome to Tip Ticks, where I will be sharing my PowerPoint presentation design skills with you. This is the second part of my meddling with image editing videos. There are definitely some tips in part one that will make watching part two a little bit easier. So if you haven't seen that yet, I will link it above in case you wanna check that out first. But in the meantime, let's get started. If you've ever received a PowerPoint presentation and the images are of questionable quality, you can use image effects to give those images a bit of a stylization to mask those flaws. So here we have two pixelated low quality images. Normally I would try to shrink them to a point where they looked okay on the screen, but let's say we had to use them this size. I'll go into artistic effects in my format panel and there is a variety of effects. Some will look better than others, but how they turn out will vary depending on your image. So it can be fun to click through them and see which one catches your eye. By using the bottom slider on these effects, you can adjust things like pencil size, brush stroke, and details. One of my favorite effects that I talked about in a previous video is pencil grayscale, which basically turns your photo into a pencil drawing. This image is such poor quality that it gets pretty rough, but if I play with the transparency slider, I can bring in a little bit of that original image color to give this pencil drawing a little more stylization. By giving the other image that same treatment, we can get a consistent look that we can use throughout the presentation rather than an obvious lack of image quality like we had before. You can also combine effects by stacking the same image using different effects and adding some additional transparency. So on the left, you have the original image, and on the right, we have the stylized version, which is actually three different ones. The bottom is the original file. The middle has the photocopy effect applied with some effect transparency, as well as some picture transparency. And the top has both transparencies as well. And the paint stroke effect applied, what you end up with is this faded, hyper-realistic illustration looking style. You can use these combinations to make things look digitized or maybe give a blurry watercolor sort of look. The double transparency can take a little while to get used to, but it's fun to play around with and can produce some very unique photo styles. Now, if you've watched part one, you know how to tint your images, but that's not the only way to add color to them. Using background fills on your images can give them an entirely different feel and produce some really eye-catching graphics within your presentation. Select your image and go to the Fill tab and simply add a background color. Then go back to your Picture tab and adjust the transparency. This is a really easy way to tint your photos without losing any of the existing color data. Even though your picture is transparent, you can still adjust the transparency of the background colors as well, allowing you to stack multiple images or graphics. Not only can you do this with a solid fill, but you can also use a gradient the same way you would use a fill in any other shape. So again, I have my picture set to be slightly transparent and I can adjust my gradient to be however I think it would look the most interesting. You can also do this with other images to create a sort of double exposure effect. Simply select picture or texture fill and either insert from your computer or paste it from the clipboard and make your adjustments however you want the background image to be aligned. I personally love this look and I think it's super eye-catching and elevates the look of a presentation drastically. And of course, you can use a background pattern fill to stylize your photos in PowerPoint. I love using this to make images look retro or digitized or on rough sketches to give them a grid paper feel. There's a whole bunch of patterns to choose from and you can decide what two colors work best for your look. Then simply adjust the transparency of your image to have more or less patterns show through. And that's it. If you have any questions about any of these features within PowerPoint, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked this video. I try to post around once a week unless I'm busy doing well, this, but as my regular job. So I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.